What's up guys? It's your girl Nikki here. Um, I just wanted to come to you guys to show you what the finished product of my um, short curly crochet faux locks. I feel like that was a tongue twister. Look like. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this short curly method, continue watching um, as I give you the full tutorial. So, um... In order to achieve this, I use the Janet Collection uh, Two Time Havana Mambo Faux Lock Hair. You can see right here. And I used um, three packs of hair. And I used the color 30 and a 4, which is a first time for me because um, I'm a 1B type of girl. And I usually ride that 1B out. Um, but I'm trying to get out of my box. Especially since, you know, I'm on leave for all my military people. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to do something a little out of regulation. But, um, I'll be back in regulation when I go back to work. No worries. Um, so yes, as you can see, this hair comes straight. So, if you continue watching, you'll see how I achieved this curly look, um, on this hair. And it took me three hours, like I said, three hours from start to finish. Of course, I stopped, I ate, I did a whole bunch of other stuff in between. And three packs of hair in it. Usually, I'm thinking if I would have done the longer method, it probably would have um, taken about six packs of hair. But because I folded the crochets in half um, to install it, it kind of doubled up so I didn't need to use as much hair and so I've been having this in for about a week now and the reason I waited so long to show you guys what the finished product looked like is because I wanted to see what the ends would look like because like I said I folded it in half so some of my ends are the traditional um, like rope method or end uh, but because I was supposed to use this portion to hook on to the latch and uh, install into my hair. Um, I wanted to see what it was going to look like at the end. Was it going to give me this frilly look or was it going to be normal? So as you can see, it did give me a few of the frilly looks. So I will keep that in mind. If you do want to do a shorter method like I did, um, maybe another route to go would be to install them normally and then cut them in half uh, once you've completed if you decide to go with the shorter look. Okay, so this is the braid pattern that I used. Um, if I could do it again, I would probably not put as many braids in the front. I just found that they were too close together. And um, I just connected them in the back. And for those of you who can't really braid very neat, the braids do not have to be neat, guys. Mine are because I let somebody else braid my hair. I cannot braid. And like I showed you guys before, this is the hair that I used. Um, it's 18 inches. And as you can see, it's straight coming out of the pack. Once you fold it, it'll be about 9 inches. This is what it's looking like so far. This is the crochet hook that I'm using. And as you can see, I have the latch open and I'm feeding it through the braid. Then I'm grabbing my hair. connecting it to the latch or to the hook rather and I close the latch and I pull it back through the braid open the latch and then just pull the hair through the, the loop that you've created now this next step is something um, that I do just to secure it a little bit more but it's not necessary I just um, make another knot. And again,
So as you can see, I look like Pippi Longstockings, but basically what I did was I just um, grabbed a few sections of the hair and I French braided it and secured it with a rubber band at the end and dipped it into some uh, extremely hot water. And I don't have that recorded for safety purposes. And here are some pictures for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And don't forget to check out my other videos. See you next time.